Have you touched your first million? And if yes, at what age? Get out of that stupid relationship that you are in. Whoever asked this question, just know you have given me PTSD because where? Yeah. I really love this topic. Oh, I love this topic. Yo. My friends, where where? Where where? <laughs> if you just see me disappear from Instagram for like five months, just know. Come in here. My beautiful and gorgeous friends welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by if you're new here my name is vanessa also known as nessa naima thank you so much to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love if you're new here and you haven't subscribed what are you doing please hit that subscribe button so you can join the latest family on youtube right now so guys welcome back to yet another video this time i'm doing a different kind of video you guys have been highly requesting me to do like a sit down video for my new subbies like a q a and that's what we are going to be doing today as i glam up myself uh so stick around if you want to see how i achieved this look and enjoy the video i actually have the questions written here like as you can see it's a lot of questions. I just hope this video won't be long. Kinaya. Because I'm going to record the intro. Nana am going to video ni long. Anyways, let's get into the video. Give this video a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, anything. If you have any other questions, just comment down below and I'll be sure to do a part two. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, as you can see, I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because I really wanted them to be twins and not sisters. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. The first question was, how old are you? Um, I'm 26 years old. Oh my God, I'm so old. Eh? I'm so old, but I don't know which eye look I want to do. I think I'm just going to go for like a neutral new dish but yeah i'm 26 years old if you've not seen my 26 year old birthday shoot just go on instagram and check those pictures out if you're new here i'm so sure you don't follow me on instagram so just go ahead and click my instagram i will leave it on the screen and yeah so yeah i'm 26 years young <laughs> i feel like i'm becoming so old as the years go by like those two years of covid really fucked me up like there used to be a time when i was 25 people used to ask me how old are you and i remember saying 23 for the longest time and i was not lying it's just that i felt like i was 23 years old because covid really made time go by fast i don't know if i'm the only one who feels like that but yeah anyway i hope i've answered your question i'm 20 years i'm 26 years old and sorry guys if you see me looking this way it's because this is where the mirror is the second question was do you want kids and if yes at what age hmm. this question is so tricky guys like me myself i don't know if i want kids uh when i was younger like when i was 20 21 22 until i was 23 i used to say no i don't think i want kids kids are just a burden kids will make me like become laid back and it, it's such a big responsibility i still feel like kids are such a huge responsibility but i think my perspective has changed because i really love kids like if you see me around kids we have we have like we have five kids at home like my nieces and nephews and i really enjoy being with them and i really just like even strangers kids even my tiktok and my instagram is just full of children's videos like baby videos so yeah maybe i want kids as for the age at which i want to get those kids Let's leave it to God because If you just see me disappear from Instagram for like five months, just know. Kamengia. Kamengia. 
and i'm anti-abortion like i'm i am very much anti-abortion i can never abort i don't have anything against people who choose to abort um unwanted pregnancies but me personally i don't think i would ever do that that's why i'm very very careful huh i'm very careful because i don't want to mess up because if i mess up that's it that's me it's me and my child for life but yeah i don't have a definite answer if i want kids or no but if god decides to bless me with kids definitely i will keep i will keep it and i feel like i want i would want twins like nimaliza to your chapter maramoja like twins or triplets i know i know i know it's a lot to ask for but i just i don't want to go through that pain like twice just yesterday i was scrolling through tiktok and i saw this video of a lady saying that they don't tell you how painful giving birth is and guys i just felt i'm not pregnant by the i'm not pregnant but niliogopa to like that woman was explaining as if it's the most painful thing to ever go through and not just the child birth like the pushing part that's just one of it like the healing process is the most painful and then she was saying that sometimes it smells not even sometimes like if you give birth through vaginal like if you push if you push out a baby like down there if you don't clean well even if you clean well it will still have like a smell i don't know how i feel about that but i guess it's normal like look at my mom a little za your mom alikuza and life went on so yeah i might what i might want kids in the future but as of now no not now but maybe in the future so yeah i just i hope i answered your question the other question was when is your next trip we need a travel vlog hey please me too i need a travel vlog me too i need to travel honestly i don't want to lie to you guys i don't know i don't know when i'm traveling next i haven't had i haven't got an opportunity to get out of this country yet but if something comes up i'll be sure to let you guys know like i really 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 miss traveling just the other day i was talking to miss june and we were just saying how much we miss like the airport feeling ngompia kama nyi yangu ngompia mkienda airport shida yenu mimi na miss june lazima tukue na new outfit for the airport so like we were just talking on how we miss like going and traveling and just the airport feeling but yeah hopefully soon hopefully very soon i'm going to be Sorry my my phone stopped recording but I guess I was saying that hopefully soon I'll be out of this country because guys I really need to breathe in hewa ya maju like I really need to get out of this country it's not that I don't like being in Kenya but everybody loves traveling please allow me to just finish this this cut Chris because I don't know how to multitask kifika hapa kwa cut crease but I'm not doing like a defined cut crease I just want hapa mbele to be lighter So yeah I feel like I'll finish these questions <laughs> even before I'm done with my eyes but you guys really came through with the questions Thank you again for everyone who participated and let me know in the comment section down below if you would want me to do like more sit down videos because most of you guys really love my sit down videos and also me personally i really enjoy i really enjoy doing this kind of videos for you guys okay the next question is i love your content we need that story time of how you are conned in dubai hey guys hey, hey. if you get this video to um, 5000 views i promise you guys i'm going to give you that story because why hey at a Whoever asked this question just know you've given me PTSD because we hey that Dubai story is just lit. I was with my friend and if that my friend is watching this video hey please just comment down below if you want me to give them this story time because we we so share. 
just get this video to 5000 views and i promise you guys i'm going to give you that story time like that story i think it's it's one of my saddest moments okay not really really saddest but it's just hey you guys eh dunia ina mambo mlizaki nairobi peke yake ndo kula con men travel go to dubai and beg and you will see but yeah i promise you guys if you get this video to 5000 views that's going to be my next that's going to be my next story time and you know me if you know me you know i'm a woman of my words that i'm not supposed to be using the word i'm a woman if i've not given birth is that true is that true Tabu comment down below because every time i find myself saying i'm a woman i'm a woman i was told i'm a lady i'm not yet a woman so yeah i'm a lady of my words just get this video to 5000 views i just just want to likes 5000 views if you want to hear that story time just share this video plug your friends to watch me because clearly i'm a vibe and i'll be sure to do that story time the other question is um which course did you study in college first of all thank you so much for assuming that i went to college <laughs> truth is i never went to college and let me just join that question with another question that i had on here it's kind of the same another person also asked me did you go to university and if no why the reason why i didn't go to university was because i was just i was a re i was a rebel 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 whichever like i feel like you guys hey i just I just want to give my grandmother her flowers for raising me until I was 18 years old because guys like I really showed that woman Pepe is it Pepe or Pepper? I really showed that woman Pepper like I refused I refused honestly it's like I don't want to say I refused but I refused to go to to university because the cost that the one who was paying my school fees wanted to pay for me it was not the cost that i really wanted to do i wanted to do air hostess i wanted to become an air hostess and i really wanted to do anything in aviation actually i wasn't even open to doing anything in aviation i was strictly focused on doing um what is it called cabin crew and whoever was paying my school fees at that time just wanted me to pay to do nursing and if it wasn't nursing he wasn't going to pay for any other cost so i said you know what so many people out here have gone to college and they don't have a job so going to college won't determine my future but to be honest sometimes i wish that i went to university and maybe did something because i'm actually really book smart in case you don't know if you are if you're here and you are we went to school together you can tell them you already know i was the head girl in my primary school i used to be top three actually i used to be the top student in primary always like for the longest time i can remember I used to be number one and then when i went to high school i dropped kidogo but i still wasn't dumb i was just really book smart so i really wish that i had done something like I went to university and did something just juicy juicy if you follow me on instagram you've seen that i went to my uncle's graduation and it i realized that graduation let me finish this story then do my learner then i'll come back i'm saying like i realized after going to that graduation that masomo is really really important so let nobody lie to you i was really really proud of him and everybody there was really proud of him we really danced you'll see in my next vlog because i vlogged everything like we were really really happy for him and it brought so much joy and sometimes i just wished like that i went to university or college but i still don't regret not going i just wish that I would have gone anyway let me do my liner and then I'll, i'm coming back because guys honestly i can't i can't do my liner and still talk to you guys so i've just finished my eyeliner and i'm really disappointed with myself but there's no way i can correct it like i feel like this one looks different 
like this one this one this side is my best side and then this side is just equal to but i'm not correcting it um uh, yeah i think i've answered that question like i didn't go to college and i didn't go to university and if i if i was given a chance i would have done cabin crew at that time because i was just i was so naive and my grades i'm not saying please okay don't come for me in the comments i'm not saying that cabin crew is a course for dumb people but i just feel like the grade that i got in high school was too good to to do cabin crew i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah i passed my kcsc and i would have felt really really wasted if i did cabin crew but on the positive side i would be living my dream life because cabin crew gives you the opportunity to really travel a lot and if you know me you know i love traveling so yeah like it's come see come sir i don't know um the other question was advise your 23 year old self does life get better first of all this was my best question on instagram i don't remember who asked it but shout out to you if you're watching this um so guys i've just finished by the way my eyes and i am moisturizing my skin and i'm using le moist for my face i really i love le moist sana kwa sababu it's thick like it's thick i usually moisturize using le moist when i'm doing my makeup because it's thick it acts like a primer and we all know the secret to good makeup is the the skin prep so yeah advice my 23 year old self hmm, let's see chan kumbuke like nilikuwa nafanya nikiwa 23 years i feel like it's 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 just yesterday that i was 23 like i've told you guys but honestly if i was to advise my 23 year old self i will just say honestly i don't think there's anything oh i would say get out of that stupid relationship that you are in <laughs> i think that's the only thing that i regret during that time because i was really really living life at that time like i was having the time of my life and i feel like i was just having a good time at that time but i will just the only thing that i will change when i was 23 maybe i will just get out of that relationship that i was in during that time because yo my fancy where 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 <laughs> and yeah for sure life gets better if i look at myself when i was 23 years and now that i'm 26 i don't i don't see any anything that has gone down here i just feel like everything is is working out according to god's timing and god's plans of course i wish that i will take some things faster like the story of my success like i just wish i had more money but for sure life gets better vanessa dear 23 year old nessa life gets better for sure don't stress and please just get out of that relationship like it's not worth it it's it really isn't it really is not they don't love you they don't love you you're in the relationship alone you're dating yourself please get out <laughs> anyway yeah guys that's that's the only thing i would have wished when i was 23 like that's the only advice i would have given myself yeah on to the next question um what's your dream huh? what's your dream destination and why um If you're not new here for sure you already know my dream destination. Also guys for my foundation I usually mix the two shades of Zaron. This is Zaron in number 15 and I usually mix it with sorry with number 45 just to get my color because I feel like even the number 25 which I have here I have 15, 25 and 45. I feel like it's still not my skin tone so that's why i usually mix yeah what i was what was i saying before that oh my dream 
destination and why if you're not new here for sure you know you already know my dream destination like i would really love to go to new york guys like the day i step foot in new york it's over for you it's really 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 over for you guys because I am a city girl like I really love the city and I feel like I've been to I've been to other cities like Singapore which is really city-ish I don't know if I'm making sense and I've also been to Dubai you guys already know I really love Dubai just because it's it's my type of vacation I don't like going to <laughs> I don't like going to islands like tropical places for example um for example where for example mauritius and just tropical islands like i wouldn't mind going but maybe just for five days but my dream destination is is of course new york because it's a city and because i'm a city girl and i just want to experience the american dream and i feel like everyone who has experienced the american dream they 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 usually say new york concrete jungles where dreams are made of so yeah new york is my for sure my dream destination and i think i've already given you guys the reason oh my god i feel like i feel like it's lighter from my shingo but we are going to fix that the next question was can you do a haul of your shoe collection okay i don't know what this person meant i don't know if they meant i should show you guys my shoe collection or i should sell my shoes haul in a haul haul baby haul haul one by one okay hey i think that would take like a whole youtube video guys i have the last time i counted i had 83 pairs of shoes can you imagine if i showed you guys all my shoes one by one like it will just be it will be a boring video first of all i feel like it will be really boring but if someone wants to see that means that's an interesting topic for them so yeah i'm going to think about it but just so you know I have 83 pairs of shoes and that was months ago and I counted probably size me figure 100 I don't know but yeah we'll see we'll see I'm going to think about it get this video to 5,000 likes and I'm going to show you guys my shoe collection actually speaking of shoe collection most of you guys have been asking me to show you my closet room and guys the reason why i'm still i still haven't showed you is because <laughs> that room right now as we speak it acts as my store it started out so well like i i put in the closet i put the the um, the led lights and it was looking so nice but ever since i started bloom petals which is my flower business that room has never been the same again like it act, it acts as my store and also all my wigs from Zali's hair are just in that room like that room is just a mess but by the end of this month inshallah i'm thinking i will have found a solution so yeah stay tuned and if you see me blending for long it's just because the other secret to flawless makeup is blending just blend 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 be patient with the blending yeah but i think i'm done mm. look at that <laughs> foundation wear it's just honestly i feel like it looks like my skin immediately after blending i like to go in with my setting spray just to make sure everything sits in place just kidogo too 
just to make sure the foundation sits ndio nikiweka the other products the foundation doesn't move around the other question was highlight for us the best moments of your life oh my god i also feel like this is also another one hour because guys i've really had so many good moments in my life and i thinking about it now like nothing comes at the top of my mind but i really had so many good times especially with my best friend frida when i used to live in mombasa guys like <laughs> i used to have so much fun with that girl when we used to travel together like those are the only things that are coming at the top of my mind my the best moment that i can actually think of right now is we used to live in mombasa and then we were coming to nairobi to apply for for italian visa yeah italian visa we wanted to go to italy so we came to nairobi and we booked an airbnb and we had so much money like it was so it was so fun being in nairobi because we used to live in Mombasa so what when you're in Mombasa na mna kujanga Nairobi like i know you can i know you can testify that it's a big deal so we came here we spent money and then <coughs> i just hope i don't get arrested for this i had to make a fake bank statement but hey guys i'm blending with another sponge i'm not using the same one for the concealer and i had to make like fake bank statements and <laughs> when we went to when we went to vfs to apply i was the first one in line and they asked me to sign <laughs> to sign something like there's a paper they asked me to sign cuz honestly i really had that money in my bank account but the consistency of putting money in the account is what wasn't there so i had to fake it and also i had just put that money last minute so i knew for sure like what we must see you ajinga so someone advised us to make like fake bank statement and i went ahead and did it kufika huko vfs wananiambia if i can sign a document so that they can ask my bank if that money is really in my bank account guys hey i remember just taking my passport up kwa counter mbio tu katoka mbio kwa sababu guys can you imagine if i if i had signed that that document like say maybe in gekwa jela for fraud so honestly i don't advise you guys to fake your bank statements like squeezy when i'm younger what you sign that thing here then that's not my best moment i was just giving you like a background story so after that we decided okay so since we cannot go to italy let's go to singapore and that was the best trip of my life it was 14 days of laughter 14 days of pure madness like it was so much fun we were so drunk and honestly that is my one of my best moments like that's something that i will never ever ever forget the next question was at what age do you think one should really make it kai guys but umnanganga nanga na at what age you will make it i think according to what life has shown me There is no certain age that I think you should make it like of course you're allowed to have dreams and ambitions and goals and something like by the by the time I'm 25 I would love to have achieved this and this and this but if it doesn't happen that doesn't mean that you will not make it and that doesn't mean that you should beat yourself up just because you're 25 and you don't have that mansion that you said you'll have by the time you are 25 like honestly there's really no specific time like if god decides to bless you now it's now if he decides just wait akuna kutafanya you'll just wait like you can do so many things to try and be successful or make it but if it's not your time it's not your time i'll just give you guys like i'll give you guys a very good example here and i'm just giving this example just to just to encourage someone so for me 
I usually feel so bad like I usually feel so bad the fact that I've never been to Europe and it's not that I've never tried like I've tried so many times I've tried like I think five times now the first time I tried that Italy the second time I try I've tried Italy twice I tried Greece I tried France I can't remember which other country I tried but I've tried like four to five times now and I just keep getting rejected I don't know why I keep getting rejected and my bank statement is okay everything else is okay but juicy juicy too I was speaking to to Tori on Instagram and she told me that maybe I'm just being rejected because my time for going to Europe is not here yet and that really made a lot of sense and that just doesn't apply when it comes to visas it just it applies to everything in life if you try something and it doesn't work out for you it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end of the road it just means that there is a better time I don't know if I'm making sense but I'm sure I'm making sense so if you're out there and you just feel like you want to give up just because you've tried something and it's not working this is me telling you that the right time will come and when the right when the right time comes whatever you wanted will be sweeter than if you had received it earlier like I am a living testimony of that and right now I really believe in God's timing and the universe timing we might want everything now but it's not the right time you know the next question was why did you start a YouTube channel oh this is a very good question <laughs> why did I start by the way Huh. let's see first of all I'll start by saying I really love being in front of the camera like I really enjoy taking videos even if I'm just even if I'm not talking even before I used to be on YouTube I really enjoyed taking pictures of places and videos just to keep in my gallery and I realized that I have so many nice videos and I have so many things to offer like I go to really nice places and some people really don't know about these places and what better way to show them than to start a YouTube video YouTube channel I mean and then after I started this YouTube channel like if you don't know if you think that I started this channel juicy juicy guys I started a YouTube channel when I used to live in Mombasa and I just quit I quit honestly because I used to get hate comments and looking back at those videos i already put those videos in private so i'm kind of after hakuna but looking back i was really it really gave me the ick like i was cringing me myself watching those videos so if you are giving me hate comments i don't blame you like i didn't know what i was doing like i used to do eyebrows vibaya like everything was just everything was so bad about those videos siko na juanga ku edit siko na jua anything but oh well look at me now look at me now <laughs> anyway i started a youtube video so that a youtube channel so that i could share like my life experiences and also it was just another way of making money yeah so that's the first reason was the first reason of why i started a youtube channel is just to share my videos and content and my personality with people who don't know me because guys like i'm so interesting like i really don't want anyone to miss out on this you know <laughs> it will be selfish of me to just keep myself to my friends and my family and i really love the fact that i started a youtube channel because guys look we are all friends here like i have online friends and it's it has boosted my confidence i'm not saying that i've always been a girl with a very high confidence but being on youtube and creating content has really boosted my confidence so yeah this is your sign to start if you're seated there and you want to start a youtube channel do it don't wait until you get a camera look at me three years four years later i still don't have a camera but look at the quality of my videos 
you guys always compliment me and ask me how i edit and which phone i'm using guys i'm just using a normal phone and for the 100th time this phone is called honor 70 and i use CapCut to edit before i used to use vn until i came across CapCut, and i just love CapCut more so yeah don't wait single at the camera cg microphone cg nini just start now start now the other question was what do you do apart from content creation um I feel like I'm jack of all trades but right now I have um, after doing your concealer you set again kidogo to and then you let it dry uh, right now I have um, two businesses the first one is bloom petals where I sell bouquets and I sell gift gift hampers that's my first business and this week i'm going to actually start um like it's going to be bloom petals and events or bloom petals and picnics because i already bought everything that's needed to to start up a picnic business i'm so so excited so stay tuned for that the other business that i have is zali's hair where i sell human hair wigs but i haven't been putting my all into that business but this month i promise you guys that i'm going to deliver like i have wigs seated here i even have new stock on the way but i don't know i just i'm so lazy when it comes to to that content i don't know why like i'm so lazy when it comes to creating content for for zali's hair i wish that i could give out pr packages but guys i'm just i'm just starting so it wouldn't be possible to give out pr packages and i know that that is the best way to market my wigs but for now i don't have enough stock to just be giving out plus i haven't made enough sales to just consider like giving out pr packages so if you're here and you've ever dm'd me asking for a pr package don't lose hope it's coming it's coming um how did you and miss june meet <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay so i used to live in mombasa and i was dating this person around that time and they used to be mutual friends and so miss june and steffi came to mombasa and this person that i was dating suggested that we should go and meet them because they were friends oh look at that contour contour <laughs> so that's how we met we went and i introduced them to juju shorts if you're here and you live in mombasa you know where to get juju shorts if you don't know i will plug you juju shorts are bought in tulia backpackers it's like a restaurant featuring like a backpackers hotel hotel or like bed and breakfast i don't know how to call it but it's just a backpackers place so i i introduced them to juju shorts and from then on we became friends <laughs> they invited me for their birthdays and that's how we met miss me miss june and stephanie that was the first time we actually met and on that day I lost my phone i remember actually it was during covid so yeah i lost my phone which was only one week old which my boyfriend at that time had bought for me from abroad it was a really nice samsung and that color didn't exist in kenya it was an orange phone like guys sit away sir how you see to live a bike to kenya home because we had to take a bike because it was almost curfew time so to kill a bike mean kasian kama kitu meanguka but ata siku tilia maanani after we got home the bike has already gone it's past curfew because i've never been really like a phone person like at nikifika tuko nyumba naangalia phone so like after 10 minutes after that we fika home dona shanga shit where's my phone to keep it here in alia i'm telling you guys hiyo simu ililia hadi asubuhi like ililia ikalia ikalia i think hadi when you kuka kucha mtu akaiona akachukua and remember guys i wouldn't i couldn't go outside that time they were so strict it was past curfew like ningelala ndani sijui for how long 
but yeah that was just a bonus story time that's how we met we met and had shots and we became friends for life the next question is what's one thing you wish you did earlier that would have been of importance to you now i hope you may somehow correct what's one thing you wish you did earlier that would have been of importance to you now that's a very good question and guys i have i just i have one answer for that like <laughs> one thing that i wish i did earlier to be honest it's not tea <laughs> it's actually something that i regret i just wish i used to save my money honestly like i used to be so rich <laughs> When I was younger like I really had opportunities where I was getting a lot of money like a lot. And I was just spending all that money doing nothing, drinking, buying stupid things that I don't even have as we speak. But I guess it's life, but that's the one thing that I would have really changed. I would have loved to change. From when I was younger like I, I just wish I would save more because sign nge kwa mbali like nge kwa na maybe na kashamba pale kamulu or at the river but it's fine cuz I've learned my lesson like I learned my lesson there are times when I didn't have even 10 shillings yeah <laughs> that I had I've ever had those times I didn't have even 10 shillings like and I was just regretting asking myself why i didn't why like why 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 was it i saving like when i say i had opportunities where i would get a lot of money like honestly i did so yeah that's that's the one thing that i wish i did different in my younger days <laughs> So guys, whatever you saw me put on was blush, cream blush, and then I'm just blending, blending, blending. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Imagine if I can make up here to go nowhere. The other question is, would you deliver flowers out of Nairobi, like Machakos and the outskirts of Nairobi? A money bouquet type of thing that's a very good question i've never actually delivered actually i've never delivered only a gift box to mombasa but i've never delivered flowers but i feel like i can deliver flowers as long as you cater for the delivery cost and as long as i'm delivering today and you're picking them today or latest tomorrow but machakos is not so far uh amani bouquet yeah i think i can because i'll just put it in a box and it will just come as a package no one will know it's flowers or no one will know like there's money inside so yeah i feel like i can deliver anywhere if you're here and you don't know what we are talking about I have a page on Instagram called Bloom Petals. I think I've already told you guys. Just go and follow. If you need flowers for your friends, if you need anything, gifts, you already know where to shop from. It's called Bloom Petals and I will leave it on the screen. As of now, I'm just still contouring but using powder. If you're still doing your makeup without contouring, please just contour. I just hope sit up at a copyright by the way. I don't know if you can hear the music that's coming from outside. My neighbors have decided today is party day. I'm almost done by the way and I still have some questions to go. The other question is... The other question is uh, not a question, but you're my favorite YouTuber. Oh my God! Thank you so much. This is a skin. Skin, do the main work, Peter Tusai. 
thank you so much and you guys are also my favorite audience you're my favorite people in the whole world thank you so much for watching my videos and for sharing because if it wasn't for you guys at a CG. Sijui, Sijui. I can't find my brush to control the nose, so I just hope this this works. A little story time. When I used to live in Mombasa, I used to contour my nose in a quite like like a brown. Like you could see those lines. Allah for pakatikati na paka shine shine like so my nose up is quite in a shine. Allah for kuni brown like oh my god. I'm going to go to the journey and make up. Bye, Sana. This is not the correct brush to use when contouring your nose. If you're a beginner, just find like a brush that can brush that can contour way better. But I mean, that's why I'm using this one because I can't find can't find my whatever the one that I use. Hmm. My nose is snatched. My eyebrows are snatched. Everything is snatched. Actually, guys, I think I'm done. The only thing that's left for me to do is baking. Not even baking. Is it baking or, or setting? Actually, I'm going music. And I think I'm going to get a volume. See why I need a, need a man? I'm going to get a the other question was <laughs> I'm thinking this is the, the same person who usually asks me this question every time I I do a QA, and a like this person just asks me this question or I think it's just an interesting an interesting topic have you touched your first million and if yes at what age so guys yes I've touched my first million and lucky for me it came at once, like nilishika tu yote mara moja. Wa, si ati nili save, nika save. I touched my first million, but ata sayum kinuliza yo million iko wapi? Ama ilienda wapi? Honestly, I don't have an answer for you guys, but I used to have a blesser. <laughs> Muna witanga blesser. <laughs> I used to have a very good blesser. I really miss that blesser by the way. And he's the one who sent me my first million. So a little story time. It was it was on 14th February 2020. So that's when I touched my first million. Was it 2020 or 2019? I don't really remember. And it was Valentine's Day. So this blesser texted me and told me, I've just sent you something small for Valentine's. Just you check your account. And I remember I was there with my best friend Frida. If you are watching this, you can attest. So since it was like something small, maybe 200k or even 100, eh? Nikaenda kwa nikaenda kwa account. Eh? Nikaona balance. Nikaona ah, hizi zeros ni mingi sana. The first time I checked, I I thought it was 100,000. And I say and I just said thank you. Blah blah blah. Hata sikusema vitu mingi. Akaniambia, "Did you check well?" Eh? Then sasa tulikuwa tumekaa hapo na best friend yangu. Nikamwambia, "Tebu, angalia hii pesa ngapi? Hizi zeros si ni mingi sana." And guys, believe it or not, it was 1 million shillings. You have received 1 million shillings, like 10,000 USD because he used to send me money in USD. So yeah, that's when I touched my first million. And ever since then, Sijawishika 1 million even I'm kono ati ati ni yangu sasa ni yangu na ni yangu. But hopefully soon. I'm also praying for the person who asked me this question and everyone who's watching this video. I pray that you touch your one million this year. <laughs> um the other question was if you had three wishes right now, what would they be? Hmm. Right now as we speak. Honestly, I will wish for good health for the rest of my life like i don't ever want to become sick like guys hey i've really gone through it so i will wish to be healthy for the rest of my life never to step 
hosi or even chemist or or as in any form of pain i don't want that's what i would wish for my first wish i would also wish that to live a long life like i don't want to die before my time has come and if my time is near god forbid i will wish that mungu aniongeze like my shamarian focus guys my purpose on this earth is not i'm not done with you guys yet like i'm not done with myself i'm not done with the world i've not even accomplished anything that i would have wanted to accomplish by now so yeah my shamarian for good health for myself my family and the people close to me and then <laughs> I will wish for a lot of money like a lot of money that I will be able to do everything that I want to do in this life like maybe to watch any one big twenty and cause younger to impress I imagine I will really want to change a lot of things in my life but they need a lot of money so yeah those are the three wishes that I would wish for myself Nice sign as me wanna to sign to the best. Sign to the best time. Comment down below if you are told you have three wishes like what would you wish for? Now I'm really curious. For me those are my three top wishes. And I feel like I did a good job. <laughs> I know I look white but after i set it it will go away like everything will be back to normal the other question was what is uh, what are your biggest red flags in friendships and relationships <laughs> i really love this topic oh, i love this topic i had actually done like a makeup video myself doing a makeup video and i did a voice over and i posted that video on tiktok but i ended up removing it reason being i don't know i don't know why so my biggest red flags let's start with what's in a friendship or my relationship my biggest red flag in relationships no in friendships okay let me just say my let me just say billy billy because again that will be another whole video so guys i just did my under eye waterline you know what i like i just did my waterline and this inner corners of my eyeliner off camera because again i can't multitask but yeah i was saying my biggest red flag in my biggest red flags in friendships um friends who don't clap for you one i'm not saying like it's a must you clap for me me i don't can clap yeah i'm also in clap yeah but do too like my shangu tendelea but like that's one of the like cuz why like why are you not congratulating me like why are you not happy for me when good things are happening for me so that's my first red flag my other red flag in friendships i think is friends who use you and by using i mean literally using you like friends who will always want to hang out with you just because you're paying for something or just because una wasaidia na something like if you're my friend you're my friend it doesn't matter what i'm bringing to the table but if you're my friend you should just be my friend red flags in relationships mm. a partner who is not consistent and when i say consistent i mean consistent like really really consistent by that i mean like leo nanipenda kesho nipendi today you're nice to me tomorrow you're a bitch to me or you're a, you're a nigger like you're just bad to me like you're disrespectful and just thinking that kunifanyia something ama kunibaya something will correct that as in sijika i don't know if i'm making sense but partners who are inconsistent like if you love me you love me from now till death or from now from now until we break up not today your water tomorrow your porridge tomorrow the other day you are this and that no you have to be consistent the other red flag in relationships 
Oh, the other red flag for me in a partner is na kwanga na mingi siji mbona na size fikiri. Um Mm. Hmm. Oh. This one like this is like I really check this a lot. If I'm hanging out with you and maybe you're hitting on me or maybe there's a chance that we can be something and then maybe we go to a restaurant or we go somewhere or generally just how you speak to people that are beneath you if you can talk to someone like that just because of their status i don't like you like those chances of us being together are finished and even if you're my partner and you speak like that to someone like it's a no no for me like guys i have so many but i don't know why i can't think of them right now but i will add them here i will add them here when i'm editing this video and you'll see mm, so guys i'm just doing my lips That's just how I do my lips. I just outline. Ati Melissa ma nini kuhusu wasichana wenye anafanya hivi lips. I saw that clip on TikTok. Wasichana wenye tunafanya hivi lips tulingililiwa sana. But I don't think mine are that dark. And then after that I just do my lip gloss. I'm using absolute. Umusi niuliza mbona lip gloss ina kai hivi by the way. I don't know if you can see. Mwenye aliumaima hii lip gloss, I'm sure ana watch video unajijua. I used to be so selfish in school when people used to ask me for my bedrooms kwa sababu mtu alikuwa anarudisha imeumwa kifuniko, imetafunwa eh I don't understand people who just chew chew on plastic things or silicone things. Guys, I think that's it for my face. I just want to give I just want to set it for the last time. That feels so good. Let me go and put on my lashes. And is there a need to change my outfit? Now we shall not have outfit. Anyway, let me go put on my lashes, and then I'll be back to answer the last two juicy questions. Don't go anywhere. I just uh, put my lashes, as you can see. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I don't know if I'm the only one, but makeup without lashes and makeup without lashes are two different things as you know need to be in me change anyways on to the next the second last question how are you mentally oh that's so sweet i'm very very fine i'm fine thank you mentally i am just taking each day as it goes and i'm grateful for where i am now and everything that i have now and even for the things that I don't have, like Najua to Znakam, Znakam, Znakam. I'm happy, I am contented, I am I am mentally fit if if that answers your question. The last question. <laughs> you guys really like asking me this question. Our last question for this video is do you still like girls? still <laughs> anyway yeah i like what i like i still like girls like look at us as in who doesn't like girls i still like girls and as for men i still haven't decided i still don't know how i feel about men but for sure i still 
like girls anyway guys we finally come to the end of this video this is my final look and i really enjoyed shooting this video for you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you would want me to do more sit down videos more get ready with me if you would want to see like a more bold look this was just a um, nude look but i can do everything from art to shouting colors on my eyes like i can do everything so let me know in the comment section down below if you would want to see that and also if you would want me to do a detailed video explaining each and every product showing you each and every product that i'm using let me also know in the comment section down below i really enjoyed this and i hope you enjoyed it if you really liked this video give it a thumbs up plug your friends to watch me plug everyone to watch me share my content because like i usually say imagine i'm interesting i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye i've been falling five when i got options and i don't want to tell you to drop it